In this video, I'm going to show you how to join two ropes together for SRT. So we might need to join two ropes together if we only have short lengths of rope, but we want to do a bigger pitch somewhere, or maybe we've got our ropes a bit out of order on a caving trip and we've used a longer one earlier when we needed to leave it later. And we, we want to get down that pitch and we're going to join two shorter ropes to do it. Um, Obviously you need to know how to pass knots and the technique for doing that safely in SRT and I'm not going to cover that here, I'm just going to cover the mechanics of how we actually build this join. Um, there are lots of different ways to do this, some of which will be perfectly safe and appropriate. I'm just going to show you the way that I choose to do it. It gives me a very strong, secure join, but it also produces a loop where I can attach a cow's tail in while I'm doing the maneuver. So we would remove ascenders uh, one at a time and pass them over the knot. So at that point, you've got another place to clip in just to give you some added security. You do need to know a couple of knots um, to do this join. Um, the stopper knot or double overhand stopper knot as it's properly called and the alpine butterfly. I have covered those in other videos. So if you're not familiar with how to tie those already maybe go and watch those first and, and learn them so i'm not going to recover it here um, so to start with them we're going to just create a very very strong join between the two ends and then we'll work out the loop bit now if i take these and tie them to each other in a double fisherman's bend i get an incredibly secure join so that is simply a stopper knot a double overhand stopper knot tied in one piece of rope around the other okay I'll cinch that down dress it up and then another double overhand stopper tied in the opposite direction around the other piece of rope okay pull those together they cinch together and they're gonna sit tight um, that is a very very secure way of joining two ropes but it's going to be very hard to undo that if we've been doing SRT on here and bouncing up and down on it. Um, obviously, we don't want a rope join to come undone easily, um, but this may be kind of too good a join for us to use. But we can isolate this in a loop so it doesn't receive any load, really. Um, so we know we'll have a bomb-proof join in our ropes, but it's not going to get pulled super tight. Um, so the next step is to tie an alpine butterfly here in this section of rope, keeping that join within the loop of the alpine butterfly. So you'll need to know the, the twist method of tying an alpine butterfly here. Um, uh, so we don't want a huge loop, but you might need to start big just so you've got room to pass this, this bulky join through. I'll bring that around, over, and make sure as I'm bringing the knot together and feeding that through, that the double fisherman's bend goes into the loop. So now if I just dress this down and tighten it up, you can hopefully recognize the alpine butterfly there, with its parallel strands and crossing strands. So this is very secure when we're kind of hanging on it, load traveling through, the loop is relatively isolated. So it's this knot that's kind of acting as the join and taking all the load when we're hanging on this. Um, the butterflies are a lot easier to undo after heavy loading than the fisherman's bend would be. Um, but we've got, see this join in here as redundancy and the loop, the all important loop. So as we come up to this knot with our ascenders, we can attach cow's tail in before we leapfrog our ascenders past the knot. The butterfly is also nice and compact. Some of the other ways of doing this involve stacking a couple of knots, having a joining knot and a loop knot, in which case you've got a, a bigger distance to bridge as you step up or down to move your gear. But this is nice and small, um, a very similar size to the actual fisherman's join itself. Um, yeah, there's a couple of ways you can do this. So as you've seen there, I've joined the ends of the ropes together first before tying the alpine butterfly. Um, we can kind of do it the other way around as well. So if I backtrack back to having two bare ends of rope here, I will show you what I mean. So there is a, a whole separate knot here known as an alpine bend, which is basically tying an alpine butterfly with two bits of rope. So if I do the same kind of twisting method of making an alpine butterfly if I had a loop, but use the ends, I end up with a joint here as well. So I've got a basically an alpine butterfly that looks like the loop's been snipped. Um, and then I can join these with my fisherman's. Obviously I'm gonna need a 
a lot more rope for that, so I need to dress some through each side of it. This is a little bit more kind of faffy getting this right than the first method, but it's the same knot ultimately at the end. Um, and then we're going to tie our double overhand stopper there, around the other strand of rope, and another double overhand stopper there, around the first strand of rope. We'll cinch those together, give them a dress, make sure everything's tightened down, and I deliberately try to position the join off to the side of the loop, not at the very end. Um, worst case, I'm doing my manoeuvre to pass, say, my chest descender over this knot. I've got my hand descender on with my foot loop and I slip and miss and drop down. My cow's tail is going to catch in that loop and it's going to sit nicely in the basket there as opposed to jamming up against one of these knots, which, which aren't going to come undone. It's just a, a nicer way to load a carabiner if you did happen to slip during this manoeuvre. And I say the best thing about this join is it's a small profile to pass with your ascenders and you've got a really nice secure bomb proof loop there to clip your cow cell in to protect you while you're doing that manoeuvre. As ever, make sure you practice rigging techniques like this and the uh, actual SRT manoeuvres in a safe and controlled environment and, and ideally with someone who can sort you out if something goes wrong or spot any errors before they get too far. Um, but yeah, this is the my kind of personal favourite way of joining ropes for SRT pitches if I need to.